Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going over some products uh, new to me and full disclosure, all of the items you're going to see today were purchased by me with my own money. Nothing was sent here by any of the manufacturers that you'll see throughout this video. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to start with the razor. This is the brand new Henson aluminum, as you can see there. And this is the AL13, and this is the mild version. Uh, so here is the razor itself, full aluminum construction. And this is the second iteration. So the first one had a little bit more of a sharper edge on the corners, and they remilled those to smooth those off. So this way there's no chance of getting anything caught up on a nose or behind the ear and so forth. And then they also opened up the channels underneath. So you can see that. Uh, so this way the lather really flows through there nicely when rinsing. So the razor itself, easy enough to disassemble. Remove the lower part. And we're going to utilize the blades that came with it. And these are the RK. I believe they're manufactured in India and they are designed specifically for this razor. Uh, nice thing about these, let me show you here once we get this kind of locked up is the way they sit here in this channel. So it's really nice the way they grab those posts. So it's, you can see that there. So the lockup on it is very good. There's no play. Provides a very good shape from what I understand. I have not used this one yet, as stated previously. So let's get this together. And we're gonna get this guy locked down nice. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so here we go. And give it a good tightening. You can either do it in your palm. There's no overhang on blade here, so you could actually hold here as well and give it a good, nice, firm snug up on that. So here it is, fully assembled with the blade intact. Okay. Super, super light blade, uh, not what I'm used to, so, but uh, gonna see how it does. The angle and trajectory in which this basically flows on the face is supposed to be really, really nice and simple to use. So if you're looking for a mild shaver or something, you're new to wet shaving, and you're a little worried about uh, the aggressiveness of some shavers and so forth, this being not an adjustable, they've kind of taken all of that information and applied it to the razor itself, so basically take out the guesswork for you. Okay, so there's the razor. We're gonna be utilizing Ariana and Evans Pistachio. Just got this, just came in. And the scent on this is just outstanding. I mean, if you ever had a pistachio biscotti or a pistachio croissant, oh, it's just not overpowering, but just a beautiful, beautiful hint of pistachio. Absolutely love that. So we'll get this going in just a second. And the brush we'll use today is just going to be an Omega bore brush. Okay, so nice and easy there. And then our bowl for today is going to be this Bow Brummel or Brummel. Uh, it's a marble bowl. Fantastic. This, this has such weight to it and the lining is ridged so perfectly. I don't know if you guys get a good shot on that there, but it's really, really well done. And the great thing about the marble is once it's heated, it actually retains the heat so the lather stays nice and warm throughout. So really, really fantastic. Highly recommend this. This one I have used. The shaving soap and the razor first time. So let's wet the face and we'll get going here. Get some nice hot water. I'm just recently out of the shower. So the face should be ready to go. And we'll get this bowl nice and warmed up with the brush intact. And then after we're all done, let this warm up for half a second. Uh, we'll finish up today with a nice Chella aftershave bomb. Really love the Chella products. If you haven't tried them, do so. They're fantastic. And I like to heat up my blade a little bit too. So some don't, some people say, you know, cold blade, warm water. I kind of go both, works for me. Okay. It's nice and hot, this full. The heat that it retains is just outstanding. Okay, shake out that brush a little bit. 
And let's get some of this into the bowl. And just gonna take out first time, so we're gonna see 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 what we're gonna need to utilize here. But we'll we'll give it a nice little dollop inside this bowl. Get that in here. Working into some of the ridges. Gonna just work that around. And let's get some water in here and see how this all plays out. Okay. I like to always just put the excess into the brush. No reason to waste it. Good product. Okay. Start working this in vigorously. Oh, it's coming together already. Appears to be a wee bit of a thirsty soap, so let's get a little more water in there. Ah, oh, the smell is just amazing. And you can see here, it's really coming together nice already. Dab more water. Get this nice and foamy today. Still nice heat coming off this bowl. Gotta love that. All right, I think we're good to go on that. Let's wet the face and see what this razor does. show you. That's some nice lather right there. Oh, that smell is just amazing. I'm going with the bore brush today because I want a little bit more backbone on this. Being not familiar with this particular soap or this brand, which I've heard great things about. And when shaving, just remember, whatever lather works for you, that's what you go with. Some people like very thick. Some people like just a thin coat. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever gets you through the day. Just a pinch more water into here. Like I said, thirsty soap. When I'm operating with about Three or four days stubble. So, should be a good test on this. Yeah, that works fine for me. All right. Boom. All right, I'm gonna wet the blade one more time. Let's get at it. First time with this thing. Really, it is quite simple. It really just, you lay it on the face, it knows exactly where to go. It's very nice in that manner. Oh, that's smooth, that's nice. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. First time. Oh, 
the smell of it. <laughs> that soap is just amazing. I'm gonna have to go to the bakery after this. For Pete's sakes. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And the soap leaves a nice kind of creamy texture behind, so it's very, very smooth. But the razor itself doing a fantastic job. I mean, really, first pass, very, very smooth. And you can see, I see a lot of shaving videos. People have, you know, extremely smooth skin. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to get into this is because, as you can see, my face is a bit more textured. Um, I've had some scars. I've got some, you know, cuts, nicks, dings from over the years. And I just wanted to see just what it was like to utilize these type of razors with the face being not as smooth. And I tell you, if it's something of a concern to you, don't let it be, because it's really, um, these razors are fantastic. And by that I mean double-edged razors. Not just this one in particular, which is doing a bang-up job. This guy will, so far I could say, will wind up in rotation amongst the others. Oh, well, isn't that nice? Nice audio feedback on that. You can really, t I mean, just so simple to use. It's it's really, you know, dare I say, idiot proof. It's just, uh, it's great. And I tell you, watch, uh, if you have the opportunity, watch the video of the making uh, of the Henson razor and you'll be extremely impressed. You should be. The gentleman behind this design, uh, it is a very, very well thought out razor. And the angle really allows you to get close up in here by your nose. Really nice. Help the smell still not overpowering at all so please don't take it that way um, it's really just um, it's a very nice scent um, throughout the entire shave and so um, man that Ariana and Evans is just off the charts that is really some outstanding product I wasn't sure how it's gonna feel about this blade being that it's not adjustable, you know, it's just one setting and you're done. Uh, and this is actually the mild one. My apologies if I didn't state that at the beginning. They make a mild, as far as the shave level, and a medium. So if you'd like a little bit more aggressive, uh, I chose the mild. Just wanted to see how it would play out. And um, glad I did. It's really nice. Wow, first pass. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I tell you, it's really the angle. I um, hope you guys can see that. The angle of this is just really fantastic. So um, very, very nice. Here, rinse that off. My apologies. So really nice. Um, well, well thought out. Just great. So let's hit it again. Let's just do one more. I'm going to wet this ore brush again. Do another one against the grain, and that should really, really send us home and be done. All right. Get a little bit more in there. So just keep in mind. I added a little bit more soap into the bowl. Um, just feeling it out, wasn't sure just how much I would need for this uh, for this particular shave. And uh, give it just a nice, you know, nice, nice dollop in there, it'll get you going. So should work just fine. All right, let's get this going here.
smell is killing me. So nice. Looks for me. real quick and then we'll go here and then against the grain you see her picking up the rest right there ah oh, really nice just so simple. Just not that other razors are so difficult to manipulate. Once you really kind of get the hang of it, um, you know you're good to go. So if you're really just starting or looking to venture into into double edge razor or wet shaving, oh by all means please do. It's a game changer. And this would be an excellent razor to start with. I must say that. Nice, I thought the weight would um, be a little bit, uh, you know, maybe odd, because I'm so used to a, a heavy razor. This one being aluminum, it's extremely lightweight. So you'd think like, oh, maybe I'm, you know, not sure how I'm gonna handle or press against my face. Am I gonna push too hard? Nah, just let the razor do its job. These guys didn't spend all that time engineering this to make it complicated quite the contrary they really took all of that out and left you with a really nice simple razor And you can see here, see, that's my face, not the smoothest face. So, you know, again, uh, you know, for me, you know, to, to be doing this and utilizing these razors, it's, you know, really goes to show you. I mean, it's a very simple process. Let's clean up here on aisle six. But really, I mean, straight, I mean, like, I could walk away right now. I could literally, done, just leave it alone, have a nice day, definitely no third pass. Nice and smooth feel. Um, I mean, very nice. Well, under the nose feels good. Under the nose feels good. Smooth. Okay, let's give it a rinse. Oh, nice. Oh, and that soap. That soap is just, and you can see here's how much we wind up utilizing for the day. For this particular shave. Could have went a little bit more, a little bit less, whatever you like. Depends on how you like your lather. Um, but again, that's a good one. That is a good one. So wrap it up. Ariane Evans Pistachio. Sensational. Henson AL13 mild version, full aluminum. We went with the RK blade, which comes with the kit. You get five blades. Uh, these are manufactured in India and designed specifically for these razors and uh, did a great job there. Our bowl was the Bow Brummel or Brummel. Marble. Sensational. And then our brush was the Omega Bore Brush. Okay. So now let's just get some of this chill onto our face. And we wrap it up and go enjoy a cappuccino and some football. Just a small dollop. There it is, folks. Oh, that's nice, too. That's really nice. 
Oh, and it doesn't, it doesn't play off of the pistachio or interrupt it at all. So here we go. Feeling good. Excellent products. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe, like, do your thing. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay strong.